ए माई ग्रैंड सन सुहम ऑफ क्लास सिक्स इज इट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स इज गोइंग टू नैरेट इज एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लिजर्ट कैचिंग ये बच्चा है बारह साल का बच्चा है क्लास सिक्स का है और वो अपना अनुभव सुनाएगा कैसे छिपकिल्ली पकड़ता है लिजर्ट कैचिंग ओके गुड लक सो हम I caught those in order as dictated. Hmm, go on. Ever since I was young, I've had an inhuman obsession with reptiles. All of them, from turtles to snakes to lizards and everything in between. Some call it filthy, I call it modern art. And modern art goes for 10 quadrillion rupees. Now with this visualization, who will be richer in the end? India is a nursery for reptile species. Its snake species are exotic, but have a lot more venomous species. However, the percentage of venomous lizards is less than 1%. So it's a myth that 99.9% of lizards will kill you if they look at you. They're not our moms after contradicting them once. In Bhagopur, at my grandpa's house, I've had the most fun exerting myself to look for lizards in my grandpa's backyard. in sizzling heat as hot as the most fiery relationships there isn't much variety here as in other tropics but for me it's enough it happened like the following a child would a child was chilling yonder out oblivious of his fate within 30 minutes he frolic tither and fro a moping with the cows suddenly the child's big brown eyes flicked to the bush Foolishly, yet filled with excitement, he runs a yonder, thrusting his arms in the bushy mess of bush. Voila! Contained, trapped, terrified, and struggling, the, reptil- the reptilian body of a lizard unveils itself in the hands of the boy. Excitedly, he screams, Daddy, Daddy, take a picture. Oh, please! The father comes out stunned, amazed, and slightly disgusted. He pulls out his phone and snaps a few pictures. In portrait mode, of course. The small thing, the lizard, looks similar to that of a bearded dragon, far away in a different land. The boy caresses it a little, then good-heartedly lets it go. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Day two of lizard catching in reality was five days into our trip, was perhaps the most amazing day of my life so far. The previous day, I had spotted a slithery black body which I described as a skink. Now skinks sell a butt ton, but I ain't gonna traffic animals to go to the United States. where i come from that by the way is illegal by now still day 2 i'd almost given up on finding that thing i was once again exerting myself outside i was ready to give up catching any shape or form of a lizard i just barely begun to go in but i randomly saw a black slithery body on a cracking heavy mud we to we to need a bit huh pot i grabbed it but failed and it went under the pot the, the that pot oh wait will you excuse me okay excuse me. that pot is darn heavy but somehow maybe with a rush of adrenaline i lift it and yoink the thing out i can remember my heart absolutely shredding itself but i contained myself and i put it in a container with holes for breathing to keep up for a few minutes I identified it as a stink skink because of the small legs and snake-like yellow back coloring. It was an Indian skink. It was 5 inches long. Later, my dad took pictures and I released it. Skinks are a break off from evolution about 500,000 generations before they became snakes. That's why they are so similar. It is a genetic malfunction. Finally, day th- day 3, 30 minutes before I began writing this, I was looking for some lizards. for an hour and a half straight with grueling heat it was painful so i decided to go look in the long plant what my sister and i saw was awesome the same species as day 1 however it had puffed its neck making it look red i grabbed it successfully then the same picture routine men under the sink weird phrase usually if you see a man under the sink you pull out your ar15 and mow him down then 2 seconds later You realize that it was your little brother playing hide and seek with you. 
and your mom never lets you forget that. However, the man that I'm talking about is not a man, but a lizard. Common house gecko, to be exact. I'd seen it on a, on day two, and that species is hard to catch because most of the time they're grouped on walls. I bet that 90% most people with proper houses have plenty inside. They are orange and have big eyes, most likely for better vision. They're also mistaken a lot to be po- to be venomous, but are completely harmless. When I had spotted it, I would tried very hard to catch it, but it was too quick and too smart. I tapped a stick to trick it into thinking it was food and make it come out. It worked, but I couldn't catch it. He disappeared the next day. Now day four, and I found it again in the morning at 5.30 a.m. This time, he was perched on one of the pillars, low enough for me to reach. I cupped it, and once again, picture routine. However, I had tried to switch hands, but it climbed onto my shirt and onto my back, then jumped off. Now, now I have caught every species of lizard in my grandpa's house that I know of. My experience so far has been amazing. My mom and her parents may hate me for it, and that may be a slight downside as I am going to her parents' house next week, but it was all worth it. वाह देखिए तो ये अनुभव है उसको छिपकिली पकड़ने का तो उसमें आनंद आता है तो हम लोग उसको रोकते नहीं क्योंकि ये तो खतरनाक रही जितना हम लोग समझते हैं ठीक है आपको अच्छा लगा हो तो सब्सक्राइब कीजिएगा बच्चे का है थैंक यू वेरी मच